options are literally <laughs> if I vote for one person and life and safety if I vote for Kamala. All right, now it's time for Brad versus TikTok, my segment where I take on the craziest ideas from the clock app. Today, we're going to watch one TikToker's confused and hysterical video with kind of apocalyptic and doomsday warnings about a second Trump presidency. Let's take a look. Why would I not vote for Kamala? I am a queer person who was assigned female at birth living in America. My options are literally <laughs> if I vote for one person in life and safety if I vote for Kamala. Like, of course I would vote Kamala. It makes sense that my community of people are supporting and voting for Kamala. The only group who would not suffer under Trump's reign are literally cis white men. That's it. One group of people. And America is made up of a lot of different groups of people. Not just cis white men. So it makes a lot of sense why people are backing Kamala. But even a good chunk of cis white men that I've seen aren't even supporting Trump. That man is a compulsive liar. He'll post one thing on social media and then go and say something else at a rally. What he's saying and what he's doing doesn't match up. It never does. Ow! The man was using AI imagery to try to swing some of the voters to come and vote for him. Like, that is just so sad. That is so sad, but scary at the same time, because AI has gotten so good that a lot of older generations of people can't tell the difference between generative AI and real life. A lot of us younger folk and people who are constantly on the internet can, but not everyone can, and that's terrifying. And honestly shouldn't even be allowed for candidates to use while they're running for president of the United States. Uh, <laughs> And it's quite literally someone who lies versus someone who has proven through their actions that they do mean good in this world. Oh, yikes. There's so much about this video that I absolutely can't stand, including the like very childish demeanor that the message is delivered in. Like, we're not toddlers, babe. I don't know why you're saying frump and, and talking to us in this like, uh, way. Like, it's really not pleasant. So maybe just stop. And look, I am not here to tell you who to vote for. I am not here to endorse either candidate in any way, shape, or form. But the reason I wanted to address this video is because of the hysteria and the unrealistic fear-mongering it entails that unfortunately is widespread on the internet, widespread on TikTok especially. For example, this person suggested that if Trump wins, trans people will be unalived but if Kamala wins, they'll be happy, healthy, and alive. That is delusional. That is deranged. There is no basis in reality for that observation or that claim. It is pure and unmitigated fear-mongering. Donald Trump was president of this country for four years already. We know what he did and what he didn't do. And he did some things on trans issues that I did disagree with. For example, I disagreed with his restrictions on transgender people's ability to serve in the military. I argued at the time and I argue now that if they can pass a psychological and medical evaluation and be declared fit for duty like anyone else, they should be allowed to serve. But one thing he never did was kill trans people or round them up and unalive them. It's just madness. Like, what are you talking about? It doesn't, I don't even know where they get this stuff from. You can argue that Trump would be bad for trans Americans. I think there's some truth to that. But, you know, the election's about a lot more than just that one issue or that one group. But what you can argue is that there are, you're all going to be dead and that if Kamala wins, you'll all be alive. Like, that's just not true. You're scaring people needlessly. Millions of young people on the internet are being exposed to alarmist fear porn like this and, and and they believe it it's really destructive and harmful to scare people like this and i will also just say side note about the whole thing about ai imagery do i do agree that politicians really shouldn't use ai created images of their opponents because it is kind of misleading and it, it, they should not do that but the idea that anyone can't tell that pictures like this are fake the one of Kamala with the communism, everything like, come on now. 
you must think people are really stupid. It's obviously not a real photo. And also anyone who'd be swayed by that is like already not a Trump is already a Trump supporter, right? So it's not consequential. It's not meaningful. And of all the issues dividing this country uh, and dividing us in this election, the use of AI imagery in political ads just seems pretty minor and pretty obscure to me. So the fact that you dedicated half your pro Kamala video to that was odd to say the least. And look, I actually agree <laughs> that Trump lies a lot. He says a lot of things that are not true and not correct. Uh, but Kamala does too, maybe less frequently, but she's pretty insincere in a lot of ways. She's flip-flopped on tons of issues. She's demonstrated a disdain for the Constitution, similar to how Trump has, uh, and, are, and just said she would do things that violates it and doesn't care. Famously in 2020, she talked about how she would just try to ban certain types of guns via executive order. And Joe Biden pointed out, you can't do that. Uh, you need Congress and you need, that's unconstitutional. She laughed at him. Can't do it by executive order any more than Trump can do things when he says he can do it by executive order. Does the vice president have a point there? Some things you can, many things you can't. Let's let the Senator answer. Well, I mean, I would just say, hey, Joe, instead of saying no, we can't, let's say yes, we can. <laughs> Let's be constitutional. We got a constitution. And yes, we can. <laughs> so look, there, there's plenty of concern to be had about her and her abusing power as well. So again, like, I'm really not here to tell you guys to vote for who to vote for. That's your decision. But I do just want you to be in touch with reality. And if you are under the impression that either way, one candidate will exterminate a group of people, that's not happening. That's not true. That's not reality. There's plenty of true, actual fact-based things to criticize either candidate about. We do not and should not resort to unhinged fear-mongering and alarmism. But on TikTok especially, that's what so much of the political discourse is utterly, utterly consumed by. And I find it hysterical and reprehensible, honestly. Really, really harmful stuff. But you let me know what you think in the comments below and do hit that like button to reward me for suffering through this asinine alarmist content. Uh, what? 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 What?